The Galaxy Watch Active 2 just got a major software update that finally brings the long-awaited ECG and also the blood pressure monitoring, along with other new interesting features. And this video is all about the top new feature. So I'm based in Europe and if you live in one of the countries listed in the link below, you should be able to download this update. First thing is the ECG or electrocardiogram and let us just stop and appreciate how a small device like this is able to record your ECG. Whether it's accurate or not, this is just amazing and a great step forward. So you probably already know that the watch top button here doubles as an ECG sensor. And finally, with this update, the sensor is now activated. Now you'll have this ECG widget that will ask you to download the new Samsung Health Monitor app on which you can see your ECG results. So after reading some extensive information provided by Samsung on how ECG works, how to detect possible heart issues and how to not make this a reliable source of medical information. In order to measure it, you just head to the new widget, press record and lightly place your finger on the top while wearing the watch. The measurement takes 30 seconds to be done. This is how to interpret the results. Once the measurement is done, you will be able to see your results in the health monitor app or directly in the Samsung Health app under the ECG section and share them as a PDF file for your doctor for example. So there are four possible outputs. First is the poor reading, which is the sensor failing to read your ECG due to bad finger placement for example, so you need to retake the measurement. The second possible result is a normal sinus rhythm, which means that the heart's lower and upper chambers are beating in sync, and that's the good result. The third possible reading is detecting an AFib or an arterial fibrillation, which means that your heart is beating in an irregular rhythm, which might be the lead cause to a stroke or a heart failure. And huge disclaimer, I'm not a doctor, I'm just getting this information from the app and the internet. But anyway, you need to talk to your doctor when seeing this type of results. And the fourth and last possible reading is an inconclusive one, which means the measured data from the heart rhythm to the symptoms are not consistent, so no conclusion is done by the smartwatch. The next big feature is blood pressure measurement, and it uses the heart rate sensor to do so, but in order to get accurate measurements, you first need to calibrate the watch using a cuff-based blood pressure monitor like this one. The Health Monitor app will ask you to take three measurements and enter the found values every time, while the watch is measuring your heart rate at the same time. Once done, you will be able to measure it only using the watch. I have mostly consistent readings at the moment when comparing with the cuff-based monitor with a small delta every time, but large changes are well detected by the watch, while the app will ask you to recalibrate the watch every month. Actually, I've just figured that my blood pressure is a little bit on the high side, so this watch feature will help me monitor and improve it regularly. On the Samsung Health app, you can set a target for your blood pressure, see your measurement history, and share the results via PDF file. The third feature is the new Sleep Score introduction. With the previous software, after a night of sleep tracking, we used to get a sleep efficiency percentage. Now with this update, the Samsung Health app would display a 0 to 100 sleep score for each night, ranking your sleep quality from not enough, to good, to excessive. The score is broken down to multiple categories, like sleep cycles, deep sleep time for physical recovery, REM sleep for mental recovery, to how many times you moved and woke up at night. Well, I guess I need to improve my sleep according to these results. Number 4 is about smart things. Now you will be able to find your watch using SmartThings Find on the SmartThings app. On this map, you will find your Galaxy Watch Active 2 last location. If you need to find it, you can either ring it here when it's inside the Bluetooth range or navigate to it using maps when it's outside of reach. Now almost all Samsung new devices could be found using SmartThings. Next is the new hand washing app. This was available for a long time, but now the app is able to automatically detect that you're washing your hands when activating this auto detect wash option. And that's using your hand movements and the microphone for listening to water sound at the same time. Once detected, it will start a timer for it. You can set a daily goal for how many times you plan for that and the widget will show your progress. Actually, I've never thought I would be worrying about washing my hands these days. 
Last thing on this update is an improved workout detection. Usually the watch takes 10 minutes to automatically detect your workouts. Now that time is about 7 minutes for running, elliptical and rowing machine. Also in the Samsung Health app there are some new added custom training programs that you can enjoy from home. So this was the video, hope you enjoyed it, thumbs up and sub if you did and catch you guys in the next one.